excited for a summer that actually includes camps and activities and fun stuff. It is coming up sooner than we'll even know about it. So we're back at Pinspiration in Ponte Vedra. And Jen, you guys have a project among the many, many projects you have here at Pinspiration that I've noticed has become so popular, Fairy Gardens. They really have. They're super trendy on Pinterest right now. And of course, you know, the whole concept of our studio is taking things that you can find on social media, especially Pinterest, and having the ability to create them in our studio without having to buy all the supplies or create a mess at home. So what's the process with the fairy gardens? The kids come in and they get their base painted and then what? And then we start to actually construct the garden itself. So we are going to use these twigs and these create a super cute little arch. So these are kind of a little bit tricky. So I'm gonna show you a couple and then okay. maybe we'll have you do a couple. So you're gonna have to stick it into your foam base. And then on this other side, we're just gonna repeat the process. It might not completely stick in for you and that's okay. We like the rustic look for sure, our fairy. Sure, of course, of course, because it is supposed to look like it was in the garden. Now, if, you're, if your little boy or even your little girl would prefer maybe a dinosaur garden, that's okay too, right? That's exactly right. This is one of our latest projects, taking the supplies for a fairy garden and figuring out how to make it a little more exciting for a little boy. And since we've rolled these out, they have been insanely popular. I can imagine. Oh, you're right. This is a little more tricky, it especially one-handed. It is a little more tricky, yes, yes. So then you have the brush, and it's so fun. So this is this going to be one of the camp projects, or, or maybe not? Possibly. So it's a theme for the week, right? So, so Correct. Kids come for an entire week, and there's something different every day to do? That's exactly right. Kids make two to three projects every single day. I'm a former elementary school teacher, I know. <laughs> I keep saying that, but keeping them busy yeah. is key. Yes. So we're gonna use our fun little hot glue guns here. I know that these were a huge hit when I brought them into the studio to film. Mm -hmm. And they're great. Cordless. They're cordless, and they're also low temp, so safe for kids to use. So we're gonna put that on there, and I'm gonna have you create a path with those little glass gemstones. Okay, so for the camps, what are the hours and when do they start? So they start on June 14th, and we're running eight weeks of summer camp. They are from 9 a.m. until 12 noon, Monday through Friday, and each day will have a different main project. So on Mondays, that's Masterpiece Monday, so we're gonna make beautiful painted canvases. Tuesdays, we do a technique-based project, Wednesdays are wood, so on and so forth. So we do have themes within the week as well as the overlying theme. We do have one week where we are partnering with Diana from Italian Cooking Lessons Jax, and she's gonna come in and teach homemade pasta, Italian language and culture in the afternoon. So during that week, we have a full day option from nine to four. And my guess is that space is limited. So it definitely maybe is. get signed up right away? Right, it's definitely limited. We're limiting to 16 campers. We are already starting to fill up, which we're super excited about, but we would love to have more kids join us this summer. Because then they're having a little party. I don't want my fairy to be lonely, so that's why I that's chose that one. Plan. I'm sure you hear some great reasons from the kids as to why they make the choices. Oh, we you. sure do. And we love having them come into the studio and be creative. Such a fun.